Hey there, it's Steve from Serious Keto, and this is probably my final video on rice and blood glucose. I've done a few videos on rice and resistant starch, and in each of them, I have gotten countless requests, sometimes demands, that I try out different types of rice and different preparation methods. And honestly, I'm just, I haven't been interested in doing that. However, there is one rice that I've been interested in since I read about it a couple of years ago, and that is this purple rice. It's called Blanca Isabel. Now, this particular rice was developed by Dr. Milton C. Rush, a plant pathologist at LSU back in 1988. According to Claudia Rush, Dr. Rush's daughter, Blanca Isabel is very heart healthy, can help lower cholesterol, and because of its high antioxidant levels, can help pr protect against carcinogens. Additionally, she says, the rice has been shown to be good for diabetics. Research done at the Pennington Biomedical Research Center indicates that Blanca Isabel can be a good diabetic choice as it doesn't raise a diabetic's sugar levels the way white rice does. So that has me just curious enough that I want to try this out on myself, even though I am not a diabetic, either type 1 or type 2. Additionally, it is not my intent to turn this into a resistant starch sort of experiment. I am going to prep this rice exactly as it says on the bag and see what happens. Now, if I do see a significantly lower glucose response than I did with my previous white rice tests, then I may consider putting this through the cooling and reheating resistant starch thing just to see if that makes any difference. Now, in terms of nutritional facts, serving size is one quarter cup. I'm assuming that's dry weight. I'm going to make one full cup and then just divide it into four servings. Total carbohydrates, 32 grams, and it says zero grams of dietary fiber. So from a keto carb counting standpoint, this is a no-go right there. But I'm still curious to see how this is going to impact my glucose and my ketone response. I am preparing this exactly as it describes on the bag slash website, purpleblackrice.com. I'm going to take one cup of rice. I'm going to rinse it probably four or five times until the water runs clear. Then I'm going to add two cups of water, bring to a boil, then reduce heat to low and cook until all the water is absorbed by the rice, which should be somewhere in the 15 to 20 minute range. Then I'll remove from the heat, fluff with a fork, cover for about five minutes, and then we'll give it a taste. After the rice cooked, I measured it out and in total had about 680 grams of rice. I'm going to go with one quarter of that. So that would have been one quarter cup dry or 170 grams. As is the case with all of my glucose testing, I am in a fasted state. I am past the dawn effect period of the morning, so my blood glucose is stable. I have not done any physical activity prior to this testing, nor will I do it during the testing window. I am wearing a continuous glucose monitor right here, a Dexcom G6, which will be communicating continuously via Bluetooth with my phone where I'm using the levels analysis software. And I will link to that down in the description below if you're curious. I've never had purple rice before, but according to the description, it's supposed to taste just like regular white rice. I'm going to disagree with that description. The taste is different than white rice. It also seems to have almost a little bit of a, a grittiness to it. I mean, all of the water absorbed, so it wasn't from lack of water. Maybe this would be better in a rice cooker. I'm not sure. I was following the instructions on the package. If, however, this does not cause me a significant glucose spike, then I may be curious about trying some other different preparation methods. But for right now, I'm going to finish this bowl. I'll be back in two hours with the glucose results, assuming my glucose is back to somewhere in the normal range in two hours. All right, I am back with the results and let's take a look at them. <laughs> we have right here the second worst score I have gotten on any glucose testing this year. Check this out. A 72 point spike in glucose. And let's see where we peaked. So we started at a 92, 
we peaked at 166. Wow. That, uh, actually, that seems like that might be 74 points, right? <laughs> Still, that's quite the spike. In fact, that is a sizable enough spike. I don't see any point in even trying any of the resistant starch cooking techniques, cooking, chilling, adding fat. Even if you cut this spike in half, it's still a significant spike. And I think I, I'm comfortable now putting all of this rice stuff to bed. I'm done testing bread. I'm done testing rice. I'm done testing potatoes. I, I'm, I'm done with the whole, let's try and take something really carby and see if we can fit it into a low carb diet because it just doesn't seem to work out. If I feel that I need to have some rice, I think I will be quite satisfied with riced cauliflower or uh, a hearts of palm rice. There's just, there's no need for me to do any more testing like this. Now I do wanna say thank you to John Hightower, one of my viewers who sent me this rice from Louisiana. He also sent me some really fantastic instant coffee and some chili flakes that are great as well. So two out of three, not bad, but the purple rice, I'm gonna call that a no-go. So I hope you found this video informational, if not, at least a little bit entertaining. If you did, please click that like button. If you're not a subscriber, tap that subscribe button, then hit the bell to turn on all notifications so you don't miss any videos. And if you're feeling generous, click that thanks button, buy me a cup of coffee. Oh, I'll throw a couple other videos over here if you're interested in watching some more of me. Thanks for watching.